have I been doing since I left YouTube in November? <laughs> and it wasn't me intentionally leaving YouTube. I just didn't have enough time or effort to put towards it because I work in three different research jobs at a university, the one I graduated from, and I'm just crazy, crazy busy. And I do still keep up with my Instagram, which is Kelly U Fit. Love it, love you guys, love chatting with you guys, love inspiring you guys and sharing my story of you know struggling with anorexia when I was 10, developing binge eating disorder and still struggling with that to this day. And that is what I want to talk about. I still binge, 100%. I still binge eat and I just want to say so what so what if I do it's not every day it's not all the time but I do it when you have had an eating disorder when you have struggled with your relationship with food when you have struggled with the way you feel and look at your own body that does carry on with you throughout your whole life and it's not a big curse it's not like you will never improve but it is an up and down cycle for the rest of your life and that is something that I really embrace and I actually love about me and it's weird to say right I love that I binge eat no that's not what I'm saying I'm saying that I really accept whatever happens in the moments that I've fallen into my binges again I need to tell you this it's not falling into it's not falling into failure it's not messing up think about what has driven your binge eating that day that moment for me every time I binge eat it's because I feel lonely it's because someone hurt my feelings it's because I've been feeling undervalued there's a reason why and when you see it, when you recognize it, that is so healthy and helpful for that instance and the next one and the next one. It doesn't mean that, oh, perfect, a revelation. I know that I'm feeling lonely, so I'm going to stop binging. No, the binge eating still happens. When I'm feeling that fullness in my belly, think about what that fullness means. Physical fullness to us who have struggled with eating disorders and so many other people in general. Food fullness in your belly can mock itself to make you think that you feel full in your heart, feel full emotionally. And that fulfillment is so so temporary and it's crazy because our minds are trying to help us they're like you're lonely you're sad let's fill you with food let's make you feel better think about and give your brain so much credit for trying to help you really your inner eating disorder is like hey like let's try to make you feel better let's give you some food and then when you attack yourself and blame yourself for being so bad and messing up man think about that think about who you are attacking which is yourself who's trying to help yourself those are things that don't save you instantaneously at that moment when you're stuffing your face with food but it just gives yourself so much love and compassion and an understanding of what is going on and that is what gets me through all these moments being mindful of that before your next binge and trying to feel your feelings is what will save you feeling feelings worst thing ever right who wants to feel a sad feeling <laughs> nobody right who wants to admit to themselves that they feel lonely who wants to admit that they feel really unloved by their family or someone that they have a crush on nobody wants to feel like they aren't at their most optimal point but guess what we are human beings and we are all gonna have weak moments and let's not label these moments as good or bad they just are we will always be up and down and that's the beauty of life having feelings having emotions means you are alive means you are a human being let yourself be I don't have a solution to binge eating. There is no perfect solution. And the thing that bothers me a lot about certain books and certain talks about binge eating is like, don't do it. It'll make you feel bad. There is a way to stop. Do this. This 10 step list of what to do when you want to binge. I really think the shift needs to be more just focusing on your emotions and what is going on internally in your soul, in your heart, and in your mind. That is what drives these binges. And I just want to urge you to Pay attention to your feelings, honor your feelings, and let them flow through you, even if they hurt so badly. Pushing away feelings by binging and covering them up with food, the feelings still exist. They're gonna have to pass through sometime. You gotta let them come in. The point of this video is to tell you that there is no perfect solution to stop binging. My focus is really to try to help you guys focus on your mental health and to understand that there are so many feelings and emotions that drive an unhealthy relationship 
relationship with food, an unhealthy relationship with your body, and these coping mechanisms like binge eating. The point for me is just to speak rawly with you guys and help you not feel alone and to just talk through the stuff. Everybody is different and that is the cool thing about it. Nothing is wrong with you. Every day it's a process to not binge eat. Every day it's a process to love your body. It's okay. So yes, I still binge eat. Not all the time, sometimes. Totally okay. You know why? The goal for me when it came to struggling with binge eating was to just stop beating myself up so hard after it. And I've gotten past that. I've accepted when times are hard. Doesn't mean that I'm totally cool with binge eating. It just means that I really, really love and value myself and I will not punish myself when I'm already down. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to show yourself endless love and compassion and forgiveness every single day. One last piece I want to leave with you today. I'm going to share a piece of my vulnerability. I want to tell you that I feel very, very vulnerable right now at this minute. I'm very nervous about putting this video up. I don't know what the response will be, but I just am very proud of myself for putting the freaking makeup on, turning on the camera, pressing record, and just talking. I've been wanting to do this since I stopped in November, and I was just too intimidated to start over, but I was like, you know what? Go for it, because you really want it. And I really want to show up for my followers and my subscribers. I love you all so much and there's so much I want to share with you and I love and appreciate every 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 single one of you who, and the fact that you want me to put up these videos every time I saw a comment in the last six months like every day every other day please put another YouTube video up I just melted so you you guys are my motivation to get here today so thank you so much thank you for watching please comment below if there's anything you want me to talk about go for it I love your feedback I love you guys so much and I'm so happy to be back. Bye. I'ma change your life, I'ma change it. Yeah. I'ma change your life, life. <laughs> I'ma change your life, I'ma change it. I'ma change your life. life. I'm a